Our first competitor believes he can not only read your thoughts, but influence them as well. Meet Wayne Hoffman. I know what people think. I know what they'll do before they do it, and I get in their heads and mess with them. <laughs> Favorite part is watching people's reactions, watching them freak out. I get a thrill out of it. So I've taken 10 years out of my life and dedicated it to studying and reading and interacting with people. And just by looking at a person, the way they dress, move, act, and speak, I know exactly what's going through their mind at that moment. Is what I do a little bit mischievous? Of course. No, I like to read the girl's mind and get her phone number. It's a little bit more my style. This is why I'm here. This is why I'm on Earth. To come out and freak people out. <laughs> Here's Wayne Hoffman. What's up, guys? You ready? You ready? Let's get into it. I have a question. Do you guys think it's possible to get inside someone's mind and have any influence over their actions? Well, tonight we're going to find out. You see, one month ago to the day, I made a prediction that's either going to make or break my career right here on live television. And in order to do this little experiment, we're going to use one of our celebrity guests. Uh, Shandy, can you help me out? Yes. Cool, let's welcome her to the stage. Come on, give it up. Awesome. Don't you guys wish it were that easy at a nightclub? I need a beautiful woman. Come to me. It doesn't work that way. Hello. Hi. How are you? You can get inside my mind. I'm ready to get inside your mind. Usually guys get inside my mind. Try to get inside my mind. <laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> Thank you. Good night. Never mind. Let me explain before we go any further. This is the, right here, right now, is the first time you and I have ever met, correct? Absolutely. Okay, that's very important. You weren't asked to write anything down backstage. No. Nothing sneaky. No. I'm a skeptic, too. I get it. Okay? But we've never met. No. What I'm going to ask you to do, let me explain. Uh, step, take a step back right here on this really board. Fast. I'm going to be asking you to uh, draw an image right here on this board with one of these markers, okay? Now, step over here for a moment. I want to explain something. If you feel any influence at any time during this exper experiment, I want you to fight it because I don't want any anger coming my way later. I don't want you to think I manipulated you, okay? My heart's beating really fast. It is? So Mine too, believe me. <laughs> anyway, what I'm going to ask you to do right now uh, is, is, do you, is there an image in your mind you think you could draw? Anything? Yes. Do you have an image in your mind? I have so, one. Okay, I want you to think of it now. Okay. And now change your mind. All right. And now change your mind again. Oh, well, good God. All right. Okay. You've settled in on an image? Yeah. Cool. Step over here. We have markers. They smell good, but don't try that at home. Okay. I want you to draw the image right here. And by the way, it doesn't matter if your artwork is good or bad. Just draw it here. You have about 10, 15 seconds. And while she does that, I want you guys to check out a video clip of something I did about a month ago. Check this out. All right, guys. So uh, I'm here, and my man Mike is about to ink up my aura. This is what you call an extreme prediction. And, and I think this officially proves my insanity. <laughs> Oh man, here we go. Anybody that says I'm not dedicated to my art, you can kiss my That's right guys. One month ago, I actually got a tattoo on my arm. This isn't a prediction that I just wrote down on a piece of paper and I can crumble up and throw it away if I'm wrong. It's just, this is going to be on my arm for the rest of my life. What? I have a tattoo on my arm. Shut up. It's going to be here for the rest of my life. Of what Are I'm drawing? Oh, <laughs> Are you finished? Well, I think I might want to change it now. What, what, did, what did you draw? Do you want to see it? Yeah, yeah. What did you draw? <laughs> a a, a yin-yang. It just says, hi, mom. It, a, yeah, is that a, a yin yin yang. Well, that's interesting. Because at the very top of this experiment, if you think back, I took my fingers like this and I said, is it possible to get inside someone's head and have any influence over their actions? I said, if you feel any influence at any time, I want you to fight it. Did because you really say that? I did. And I said, if you, if, if you feel any influence to fight it, then I don't want any yanger coming my way later. You I said, did it didn't say. matter if your artwork was good or bad. And I said, you're going to draw something right here. And you probably didn't even notice this. Check this out. Today, we put a table in your dressing room. I did notice that, but I thought it was candy. But you thought it was candy. Did, you, you didn't notice it was rocks. a yin-yang, did you? Yeah. Oh my gosh. No, I didn't. 
You didn't notice it, did you? Not at all. So is it possible to get into someone's mind and have any influence over their actions? Shut up, shut up. Here's your answer. Let me see. Let's do it. Wayne, you just influenced Shandy. Do you use, uh, use this mental suggestion in other walks of life? Uh, <laughs> I'm actually, I just finally perfected getting out of a speeding ticket, so I, I use mentalism uh, in, in practical ways. So yeah, yeah, of course. Shandy, are you shocked? You seem shocked that you I'm guessed a tattoo that you shocked. had on his body. You know, going into my dressing room, I was like, oh, they have rocks, okay. <laughs> and I didn't even notice that it was uh, yin yang. That's crazy. That's so I think crazy. it's even more crazy that he's oh. been in your dressing room. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's uh, go over to our experts over here. Chris, <coughs> Wayne committed to that performance in a, a big way. Are you impressed? Wayne, I have to say, I thought you had a very good energy. I obviously know that you have a commitment to your art, and I respect that. And overall, I thought it was very entertaining. I thought the audience loved it. I thought he did a great job. Thanks. Great comment, Uri. Um, when you have a lot of charisma, good positive energy, to me you generated a stylish and cool mental influence over Shandy. I have one concern though, that if you continue this act, you're very soon going to run out of body space. <laughs> <laughs> well, a great start to the show, but three people will be eliminated next week. Don't let it happen to your favorite. If you think Wayne is the phenomenon, call 1-866-345-6701 or vote at NBC.com. Calls are toll-free from landlines. Voting starts at the end of the show.